In this video, we will simulate the assay that was created in the previous video titled Build an Assay. In the next 10 minutes, you will learn how to schedule and simulate an assay, how to use the load dialogs and read scheduler information, and how to view the 3D model of the Microlab Vantage in Instinct V. Let's begin with a brief review of the simple assay created in the previous video. In that assay, we defined where items are located, what items to use, and how the liquid is to be transferred. And here is our assay document. This is where we selected the system we're going to use. This is the virtual Microlab Vantage for this video. It has both the instrument configuration, mostly hardware, and the workspace configuration, which contains our position resources that indicate where items are located. And these two drag and drop graphics that we got from the toolbox are the processing items or labware. A 24 tube rack for the pipetting source and a 96 well sample plate for the target. They define exactly what will be used in the assay. Of course, we also have tips and waste. Notice that the tips are a shared resource. This is different than our tubes or our plate because a shared resource is a consumable item that can be used by various assays until it needs to be refilled and therefore it's a shared resource. And the pipetting activities, we drag and drop those from the actions list in the toolbox right here, such as remove, add, shake, and so on. And we can double click to see the pipetting properties. And here you can see that a transfer pattern is required. So we'll click the ellipsis. And this is our transfer pattern document. It shows we are pipetting from our source the first 16 tubes into the first two columns of our target plate, and that's 16 wells. And finally, these pipetting properties at the bottom, such as tip management, aspirate, and dispense, show the details about the pipetting action. They're default values right now, and they're automatically populated by Instinct V. But it's always a good idea to check them before simulation. And this completes our quick review of the assay, and now it's time to schedule the simulation. This means all the transportation and pipetting activities will be planned in the most efficient way possible, and then displayed in the scheduler view as processes over time, a Gantt chart. To schedule the assay for simulation, click this button at the top. Immediately, the scheduler begins planning and scheduling based on all the properties and definitions in the assay. Each process is the colored bar that you see over time. And there's additional information which we'll examine in just a moment. You'll notice that all assays begin with an initialization of the Microlab Vantage. Afterward, there's a load process, pipetting activities, an unload process, and finally, the completion of the assay shown here. Notice the current time appears at the top of the schedule. And at the bottom, the duration of the assay appears. Here it's shown as 4 minutes and 31 seconds at 1x speed, where 1x refers to the simulation speed. However, simulation can be faster or slower by simply selecting any of these values. And on the left side of the schedule view, the name of the assay will appear. If more than one assay is scheduled, such as in a workflow, or multiple assays, they will appear here also. Resources refers to all the instrument parts and the position resources that are identified and available in the workspace, even if they're not used in the assay. And consumables are all the items used for pipetting activities. In this case, 16 tips, the tubes, and the 96 well plate. And now we can see that all the information in the scheduler can verify that the assay meets our requirements and it can also indicate if a reload will be necessary, especially for tips or troughs. Now let's look at the viewing controls in the upper right corner and we'll zoom in to examine them. The view settings button shows the options. These are easy to turn on or off. For example, show duration displays how long each process will take. Show dependencies 
can indicate processes that depend on each other, especially with multiple assays or activities in parallel. Finally, these icons are used to zoom the chart in or out, or fit the number of hours onto the timeline. Now let's clear the schedule by clicking the Clear button. We use it because it's a good idea to clear the schedule of any data when not in use. Although we scheduled this assay from the assay document, there are no open documents, as you can see. So you can also schedule an assay from the scheduler, and you can use this button to set up the schedule for a simulation or a run. So think of it as the mode. Now we're in the mode for simulation, so let's go ahead, we'll go to the same schedule button and click, and the schedule for simulation dialog appears. So let's examine it. The icons on the left show the type of document. This one is an XSL programmed assay, or in our case, it's an assay document. And we can also use the advanced settings, which are only available here. For example, let's select Confirmation Required and then schedule the assay for simulation. Notice that we can examine the schedule and then accept it or reject it. Rejecting it leaves only the initialization and termination in the schedule, as you can see here. Now let's clear the schedule and go back to our assay document. We click the Schedule button at the top again, and the same schedule appears. Once again, we see Initialization. This checks the instrument functionality and resets the system instrument parts to their home position. And afterward, the load activity will bring up a separate dialog with user prompts and other information for the operator. This is also true for the unload activity. And we'll watch the pipetting occur in the 3D model. So let's go ahead, click the Start button, and notice the red vertical line begins to move across the schedule. This is the Now line, and it shows exactly where you are in the schedule right now. Because we're in the initialization process, we can go watch the instrument initialize by clicking the Instrument button. And here you can see the movement of the loading tray and the other hardware as the initialization prepares the system for pipetting. And immediately afterward, the load dialog will appear. And here it is. Notice the operator prompt to select the prepare loading button, which is here at the top right. Also notice the button to show surplus loading options. This allows you to load more labware that is, labware which is not required for this assay, but may be needed later for other assays. And this list below provides the operator with information about all the items that will be required, the time to get ready, and any other information necessary to correctly run the assay. So now we can click the Prepare Loading button and the dialog will refresh. Let's click Start Loading, and Instinct V will go through the listed labware and indicate the loading status for our simulation. With loading completed, the Now line continues to move across the activity bars, so you can watch the schedule as the assay progresses, or we can return to our 3D model by clicking the Instrument View button. And here in our virtual system, we can watch the tip pickup, the aspiration from the tubes, dispensing to the wells, and the activities panel shows the transfer pattern being satisfied as the assay continues. Of course, tips are ejected as needed and new ones picked up before each aspiration, because this was the default setting in the assay, but it can be changed. These buttons are used to get a larger view of the labware during the pipetting. You can also zoom in or out and rotate the view as needed using the controls here. Finally, the unload dialog will appear with operator instructions for unloading the carriers. And the process is made clear to the operator with the appropriate buttons. Click Start Unloading. And afterward, the Clean Up Unloading button will appear. And finally, go on to terminate the assay. 
And this brings our video to an end because we have successfully scheduled and simulated the assay.